one change. There's a community of almost 300 different organizations. We are pleased today to have the opportunity to recognize and celebrate the excellent work done by our colleagues around the world. I am proud to announce the winners of Inside NGO's first annual Operational Excellence Awards. From the get-go, Jeremiah showed his remarkable blend of talents and ability to work with a wide range of legal issues and a wide range of geographies and legal systems. He very quickly gained the confidence of the people he works with, from executives to outside professionals to staff at all levels. He sees problems as opportunities, and he has a truly remarkable work ethic integrity and judgment. Basically, I'm, I'm tremendously humbled and honored to have the opportunity to work with the teams of folks who worked on those issues and continue to work on those issues and have patience uh, with my learning curve. Um, so really what I'd like to do is just, if I could, share that award with every one of those peers here. Um, there are a lot of you here, um, peers at Mercy Corps, who who really have, uh, you know, made it possible for me to even survive the first two years at NIMTO. PCI, like all of our organizations, are very much mission-driven, but I, I think that uh, we lacked uh, a business balance, if you will. And George brought that to the organization. He brought a, a, a breadth and a depth of business experience uh, to PCI that wasn't there and started a process that continues today of introducing systems and processes and procedures. We have come a long way in 10 years from where we were, and it's been teamwork. And I'd like to, to recognize that teamwork. And that teamwork starts right here with Inside NGO, because I did not know about indirect costs. I did not know about regulations and a multitude of other things. But by coming to the annual meeting and attending trainings that Inside NGO provides, I was able to quickly learn what I needed to do. So thank you very much, Inside NGO, for being there for organizations like PCI who needed someone to come and bring a different perspective. It's really more, it's more than just what Chuck has done, it's how he does it. Um, Chuck is very tough. Most of his colleagues will tell, tell, tell you that he's tough, but he's also very empathetic. And he's developed a balance that very few senior HR people can manage in terms of being tough and empathetic at the same time. I want to thank everybody who was involved with the uh, selection and review of this and, and very appreciative um, for not only recognizing what I do, but what all of us do. But that's, uh, paramount uh, importance that we all do and what we contribute to in the world. Many of us in this community are challenged every day to manage with very limited resources and that under those circumstances staying positive and solutions oriented can be a struggle. We've all had our moments when we feel discouraged and or overwhelmed. So I think for me the real reason that Rick stands out it's because he maintains his balance. He shares his knowledge. He keeps his colleagues connected, both literally through our IS systems <laughs> and figuratively. And he's a genuinely caring human being. For me, if it takes a room full of servers, servers, excuse me, a small army of techies, protocols, mobile devices, SharePoint, and even the 3 a.m. tech support calls, to help make this very simple and vital event happen, then it's a contribution and privilege to make. Thank you. I'm proud and honored to be uh, recognizing Erica Feldkamp, our VP of Administration, uh, for the Cross Operational Excellence Award. As you can see, she's not here with me right now because she's doing what she does best. So this is now Erica's acceptance speech. I am fortunate to have one of the most interesting and challenging roles in business administration at Interviews. I get a real charge 
and immense satisfaction by leveraging my problem-solving skills in multiple disciplines across the organization on a daily basis. But this year we're giving a service to the Community Award to a member who's played a leadership role in Inside NGO and the NGO operations community from the very beginning and continues to lead the community today. Their staff are active and lead in every functional operation area. They serve as trainers, presenters, knowledge and technical experts, building workshops and annual conference sessions. They have 25 representatives across all functional areas from the U.S. in the field attending and contributing to this annual conference. In their work, they address some of the most challenging problems with innovation, knowledge, and a strong collaborative spirit, characteristics which they have also brought to our community over the years. They are also celebrating their anniversary this year as they began 60 years ago. We would like to recognize, honor, and thank the Population Council for their exceptional leadership and support of the NGO community throughout our 35 years. Of all the things that, uh, in fact, this is your talk, I'm going to keep this. <laughs> thank you. But all the things that, uh, that uh, Allison said is that uh, she said that uh, this was going to be a surprise, and it certainly is, and it's a, a very, very welcome surprise. All the people that you mentioned who have been involved in all the different ways, a lot of them are here, some of them are not, have all contributed, and I would say every one of the people who's contributed would tell you they've gotten more out of Inside NGO than they put into it. Uh, when I came onto the board, I had a colleague uh, who was the orientation person, and she said almost the same thing. She said, I put uh, more time into this board than any other non-core work activity that I've done, and as a result, I've gotten a tremendous amount out of it. And I think that's very consistent with the message that Tim Sanders gave uh, when he kicked us off. Uh, there really is something to be said for making a contribution, being generous, and, uh, and what you get back is, uh, comes back tenfold, and I think we found that. 